the uh, Uzbek world number one at the moment on top and just working away on uh, on the Japanese. 54 places separate this pair. I wonder if um, we're going to see that kind of gap. Unlikely with the, uh, the way that the Japanese prepare their athletes. They always come with really well prepared athletes and uh, 55 really on the world ranking list doesn't really do Takato Naohisa sufficient enough justice. Anyway, three minutes odd left to go and uh, Sobirov leading by uh, a single Yuko. Nice uh, Koji Gari um, attempt there from Sobirov. Big pick up from uh, the Japanese there with the Tegaruma but couldn't finish the uh, the circular movement needed to turn Sobirov over. He picks up uh, passivity warning. Here comes um, Takato again. Nice shape to uh, his judo and good, good movement. Good workout for uh, Sobirov a couple of months out from uh, the games. Giving something to um, to think about. Well, what are the um, stumbling blocks to get in the way? And um, just needs to be watchful here because Takato has got that kind of. Um, He's got this kind of um, response to the attacks that Sobirov throws in that could be dangerous. Minute 50 left to go. Sasha Mamedovic of uh, Canada is on mat number one in the under 66 kilo categories up against uh, Mezahid Fomanov of Uzbekistan. There's no score in that match and uh, there's another Uzbek on mat number two. This time it's Navruz Yurakobilov. He faces Anton Sashenko of the Ukraine. So Uzbeks on all three mats in all three different weights. And uh, Yurakobilov, the first of the three to come off, he's just won his contest against Sushenko of the Ukraine. Minute 16 left to go. Still just that uh, one Yuko that um, Sobirov scored. The difference between this pair, Takato, pressing forward. No. Yes, they've given it. Given it, that's tied the scores up a Yuko apiece. Well, he's not in the best position to um, see that. The uh, corner judge in the far side, he was the one signaling for no score. But this corner judge down in the right-hand side, Gary Berliner, he's in the perfect position to see it. Nuno, the, the, the referee, he, he gave the Yuko and Berliner uh, supported him there. Another... Um, Attempted counter. This is going to take it into golden score here. A Yuko apiece. In a way, this is just what um, Sobirov needs. A good, a good test. Quality workout in the middle. And uh, Takato's giving him just that. I bet the uh, the film of this is going uh, straight back to Tokyo. Oh, 
almost countered. I told you, this guy is so dangerous. Almost every time that Sobirov has been in there, he's um, had some danger. Koji Agar Kojigari attempt there from Sobirov almost ended up with him being uh, picked up and thrown by Takato, but uh, didn't happen. Three minutes more goes on the clock. We've got the golden score period. It's the world number one and world champion, Richard Sobirov, the favourite really for the um, 60 kilo category in London, facing Takato Nahisa of Japan, and we're into the golden score period now. Moving away to his right there, trying that Sotemi was, but that failed. Takato. Yuko apiece. Drop Cernagi, blocked by um, Sobirov. Takato guilty of a drop there. That ties the um, the board up neatly now. Nice symmetry there. Yuko a piece and a, a warning a piece. Could be problems. They're not going to score that. And uh, Sobirov just let things go to his head there because he clasped hands around um, the uh, the waist. That's a band um, grip. So he got, um, didn't get warned, they just stopped the, um, the technique from being scored. But the next time, he'll be penalised, so he's got to be careful. Great little match, this. There's another one that uh, hasn't had the, um, the big scores, but really tense contest going on here. Minute and a half left to go. Just coming into that um, part of the contest where Sobirov's class, Sobirov's quality is, um, is going to do for Takato. Just showing signs of having run out of ways to attack him and different ideas. He hasn't got the same kind of power that he had earlier on. And a good attack now from Sobirov will finish him off couldn't come up with the uh, the leg for that uh, Sumigeshi attempt. He's not going to get past Sobirov's legs here and the referee calls Mate. Inside the last minute then. Great little contest. Just what Sobirov needed. A testing uh, contest. And uh, Neil Adams was talking about the preparation that these athletes uh, are undergoing before, before the games and this is a really good example that kind of preparation. Half a minute left. Don't want to leave it up to the um, referee and the judges. You want to keep it in your hands if you can and decide it now. You go into Hanta, you run the risk of someone else deciding where the contest is going. 18 seconds. Time to go right now. He just lost the sharpness, hasn't he, Takato? His head's dropped and he looks a little bit low. He gave everything in the first part of the contest and now Sobirov just looking that little bit better. Standing up a little bit taller, looking a bit more positive. He's going to take this if it goes into uh, a Hantai. Ooh, nice little effort at the end. The Koji with the hand assist. But uh, as I said, both fighters now at the mercy of the um, referee and the corner judges. It's a tense time. You've got the world number one looking around. Judges have got their, uh, their flags now. Two fighters in the middle have tidied themselves up. Time for a big breath and 
nervous times here. Sobirov in the white judogi. Takato in blue. Which way is it going to go? Ooh, two blue and one white. It's Takato who takes it for Japan. Split decision. And